Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of All Feather Park inside of Jurassic World that we do. And in today's video, we are going to be starting this last section here, which is going to be a research section where where we will house failed feather failed feathered species. So, like feathered species that have that have that have failed genomes or or wrong genomes. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. So this part is gonna be totally utilitarian, and it's gonna be pretty good. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna quick, just gonna quick start on a dock over here. Uh, I do, cause I would like to have a dock where, where, um, where they can, um, where the personnel can like unload some materials or equipment, equipment. So yeah. There we go. Now we have kind of a dog. Kind of a dog. Just, just pretend that that's not there, okay? Just pretend that that's not there, and and you will unload the stuff from from the dock over here. So let's um start with kind of like a utilitarian area. Why does the water go all the way up to the path on this one, but not on the side? That's kind of that's kind of goofy. Okay, so the water tool doesn't want to work today, I guess. So yeah, let's start by um, let's start by fencing this part in. We'll give it about that much space. That much space will be good. As you guys can probably imagine, docks don't need very much space. So yeah. I think this has potential to become a very, very, very nice dock. Also, guys, if you're hearing uh, like some boring in the background, that's just my 3D printer. It's printing a thing. So yeah, that's all that is. It's nothing to um to distress about, I guess. So let's just add a couple of um utilitarian-looking buildings, like um like this beautiful science center. So yeah, we're not going to go decorations crazy over here, because this is a utilitarian part of the park, and we are going to want to, um, to make it look like that, so. There we go, and then we'll leave, then we'll leave a little bit open, so that, so that we can place some, um, some crates and boxes and shipping containers and stuff. Oh yeah, and some cages, because why not? You need cages. Want a research facility if you can't have anywhere to keep your dinosaurs, and they'll just escape. So yeah, that's why we need cages, guys. Alright, uh, let's just... I feel like this path is a little bit too... too fancy, so... I'm gonna bring in... I'm gonna bring in this... Uh, the normal path, and I'm gonna... Replace all this. Because I do feel like this path is a little bit too fancy for for a um, research facility. Part of a nice park. So, yeah. Just 
the old fashioned way. Just go the old fashioned way here, and that looks really good. So yeah, uh, let's start. Uh, let's start with some um, decorations, like maybe some um, watchtower on the um, on this or lighthouse if you may. Um, maybe another here and one more We're behind here. That looks good. Um, let's grab a couple of um, a couple of uh, this is right there. And uh, where's the crane? You're gonna need a lot of cranes. Obviously, people cannot look at them. And now we're also gonna have like a uh, um, crane to take the things off the boats and stuff. So yeah, um, that, that's looking good. We'll do some uh, some shipping containers. Containers here. There we go. And some um, some randomly placed boxes. More like these things. I'm not really sure what these do. Cages. And a T Rex cage. Oh, the terrain constraints are actually crazy for Um Trust Raptor cage. can throw in a T-Rex cage in the back over here. There we go, that looks... This is a good looking dock. So yeah, I'll let's do a couple um, cages over here. Just because. We don't find it fun when our dinosaurs escape. So we need some, some nice fence. Uh, some like... Some nice things to contain them, yes. Um, where's that tower again? Yeah. Another tower on that one, and one more on this one. Perfect. And then, um... And there we go. And there we go. And then, what other large, large decorations do we have for over here? We could do, we do a couple of these. Conference or something, I don't know. Uh, but then we do need a couple of them. Post in, in different places. These cameras will help us to um to detect when people are trying to get in and or out. Lights are camera speed. Now 
And good. So when it gets night, our people will still be able to see. Our personnel will still be able to see. Um, and yeah, it'll be good. So yeah, uh, let's start with our first enclosure. So pretty much what, what, what this part's gonna be is it's gonna be a research facility because some dinosaurs will have failed genes or or something which will make them not non-feathered so yeah so a couple of the species that we're going to use are our um indoraptor and indominus rex and scorpius because they look mutated they look they look angry they just they just look um just um just not happy and or mutated so yeah we're actually going to give them kind of small um so yeah we're actually gonna have a couple of holding pens over here so we're gonna do one gonna separate it by two of these Towers, a lot of um, camera posts, and a lot of lights, so that we can always keep tabs on our dinosaurs to make sure they cannot escape or anything or play any funny, funny business on us. Not many people like funny business. Now we have some good holding, holding facilities, holding um, enclosures that we can take the animals out and we can, I don't know, perform some kind of like tests on them over here. Uh, maybe we'll have, we'll have some kind of like tests and stuff over here, like um, maybe like I don't know, but we will have like 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 an enclosure like this, so that dinosaurs can get some like. Sometimes, like, maybe, I don't know, run around, and then we're gonna add some more buildings. We're gonna have a lot of, um, helicopters and stuff. So, yeah. Have a lot of helicopters, a lot of response facilities. Oh, that's a good point. I have to put in a response facility. I have to put in a response facility. And a staff center. Yep. Um, and a response facility. Here and. Because these are kind of aggro dinosaurs. So, like. Like, we want to keep tabs on them and make sure that, that they are well enclosed and cannot escape on us, because that would not be good, if you know what I mean. Do I have a hatchery? Oh, I don't have a hatchery. Shoot. Okay, wait, yeah. We can actually, we can actually use the idea of not having hatchery to our advantage. That looks pretty utilitarian. That looks good. Um, and then we can, yep. And yep. And then we can incubate our Scorpius, our, our dinosaurs that we're, that we're gonna put in here. Um, so we're gonna put in here our, we're gonna put in, we're gonna put in Indominus Rex. 
indoor raptor. Scorpius and and a really nice skin of this. Where is it? Which one is this? Ah, we'll figure it out. Who knows? What are these guys? Oh wait, these are A2? Oops. Whoops. So yeah, guys, to um to finish off this episode, we're just gonna release this Indominus Rex real quick. No, you know, never mind. We're gonna release these boss after. We did pass 15 minutes, so yeah guys, I'm gonna cut it here. If you guys enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.